What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Me, not so much, but we're, I'm home. I'm working on stuff. I'm getting stuff done. So I'm sorry there hasn't been a lot of videos lately. I did get the paint video up. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I was happy to have my wife spray some of it and everything, but I have had a really rough week and a half or something like that. I will, I'll be honest. So uh, last Tuesday, I went to drive my uh, Civic, the single slammer, you know, the daily, uh, and the, uh, the brake lines broke. I had to turn around and come home. I had to drive the truck. So I'm driving the truck. Then that Friday, just a few later, days later, <laughs> the in-laws are in town. We're going to go pick up a, 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 a you know, a late Christmas gift for my children um, because they live out of state. And so they, you know, finally got a chance to meet up because I've been gone. Everything. Either way, went to drive it, and the transmission lines blew. So I was down. I'm driving the G35, and and everything's just. And then the wife's car goes. The the rear caliper decides to stick. So <laughs> I've been overwhelmed. I've been just struggling to just keep composure and everything like that so i apologize there hasn't been a video i know you you guys may care you may not but either way i'm just updating you guys on what's going on but yes so yesterday i went ahead and knocked out the scion i didn't have time to record it and everything like that but it's done the wife's car's cherry she's running good a few other things i noticed while doing it all that i'm gonna have to add on to the to-do list but uh it's back safe and everything like that for my wife to drive and today we are tackling some things I need to do. So, uh, I looked at the Civic, I can't fix it right now, I just don't have the time at this exact moment, because I got other stuff to do, so we're gonna try to fix the truck. I've actually already started, because like a rookie YouTuber, I forgot to charge all my cameras, because I haven't been filming, and I haven't really been worried about them, and I went to start this video, and the camera was dead. So it's been charging, I've been working, so I'm just gonna try to keep, catch you guys up to speed. First, first, you gotta see this. There it is. Oh, it's looking good. It is looking good. I hope you can see that gloss, that finish, how smooth and everything it is. Now, it's a bit dusty. It's been sitting in here, not doing anything, but I mean, it is beautiful. I, I just hope you can see it. See how smooth, how flat, the clear laid down. I am just, I'm in awe. It looks amazing. I hope you can see. Let me grab a light. Just check out this color. It's so hard to get on camera, but. So you can see all the dust, but you can also see the pearl and the metal flake and the purple. It is just such a beautiful color. Hopefully you can see it. You can see a few sags in the clear that I had, cause you know, whatever. But, she is looking good. I'm super excited. Regardless of all the mistakes I made, it looks fire. I'm so excited, so happy. And you know, we're getting closer. So, to show you a little update of what else I got going on, as I uh, wash out here with the sunlight, cause we're going outside, cause it is a beautiful day. It's like 50 degrees, I'm super excited to be outside and be able to do some stuff. It feels amazing, I'm actually overdressed, but. So my buddy Neil hooked it up with them cut knuckles and everything like that. It's hard to see cause I'm covering the light, but you can see, got them cut knuckles, getting a little coating. He painted them gray, not a big fan of the gray. So we're gonna coat it this uh, epoxy paint. I uh, figure it's, it should be pretty durable. I'm pretty much going to do all my suspension, like uh, subframe, control arm, shit like that in this epoxy. So we got that warming up. We're over here working on the workhorse, the truck itself. So uh, I went ahead and pulled the grill off and everything over there. We're trying to knock out these transmission lines, pop these bad boys off. I got to get them out from underneath uh, and everything. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You know, we got to get it done uh, and everything. So I'm going to continue pressing on. We're going to try to get this truck fixed up uh, and everything so that, you know, at least I can uh, have a backup vi uh, vehicle because right now the G35 is all I have because everything else decided to take a shit on me. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, you know, that's just how cars are. You know, it's, it's just rough. Uh, you know, you got several vehicles. They all need things, and eventually they're all going to break at once. And... Yeah, that was last week. It's really stressed me out. I wanted to make some really cool videos for you this week. Uh, I was really hoping to get back to the subframe and get the control arms off and modify those and empty the subframe, modify those. Uh, we'll see, I might get to it tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, you know, we gotta clean up the coilovers um, and just try to like clean up a lot of the parts. 
for reassembly because we're to the point where uh, you know I get the subframe modified, I get the control arms modified, and I can start slowly reassembling some stuff. I still need to paint the inner wheel wells uh, and stuff like that, so we're gonna do that eventually. You know, they both kind of are uh, just still primer, so we're gonna paint those that epoxy black and then undercoat it. But yeah, so that's about an update. Uh, I'm gonna continue working on the truck and everything. Uh, you know, it's pretty, I mean, I can give you a brief overview of how you would do this if you're interested. Uh, so you have the tray here, it has a bunch of push tabs. Um, so you just take your panel tool and pull out all your push tabs, that pops off. And then you have four of these quick disconnects that use a Phillips. And you reach through the grill and turn them 90 degrees and that will unlock the grill. There's one 10 millimeter bolt that goes right here, you pull that off. And then all these lines, if you're not familiar with GM, they have a quick disconnect. So there's an O-ring in here or whatever. The line pushes in and then this little star clip. These little star clips lock the lines in. So I use a little pick. I pull them out, pull the line down, and that's it. This is your accessory cooler. I know you probably can't see it, but the accessory cooler runs to the top of the radiator and then the bottom of the radiator runs back there. So you have two lines that come up from the transmission. One goes to the bottom of the radiator, the other one comes up and goes to the accessory cooler and then the accessory cooler goes up and goes to the top of the radiator. So it's a dual stage cooling basically. It's, um, it's probably because they have the heavy duty type setup, you know, to give it double cooling because you're probably going to be towing and stuff. Which makes sense as to why like my trans temperatures never go up. Um, I mean, it actually seems to be a really efficient cooling system on the transmission from the factory. Either way, I'm rambling and everything. I'm going to get back to work. I'll update you guys as I go uh, and everything. So, yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys. So, it looks like the primer is all dry. This is just engine enamel primer. So, the stuff you would primer engine blocks with. And uh, and then we're going to shoot some of this uh, epoxy paint on there. So, uh, so, yeah, it says two light coats and then a medium wet coat. So, we're just going to send it, get a light coat on there. The tack coat, basically, just get a little paint on there so that when we go to spray, it has something to bond to. So yeah, so that's going to be coat number one. We'll wait like 20 minutes or so and then we'll uh, put on another light coat. In the meantime, while we're waiting on the first coat to dry on that, uh, just to give you an update on the truck, I'm still working on it. Uh, it is kind of a pain, all the lines are rusty. And I'm trying to get underneath there and get them out of all the clips. I got one pretty much good. It's gonna be interesting getting to the actual line that goes onto the transmission and getting the cap and the retaining clip out of there. Um, because there's some heat chills, there's the exhaust, there's just, uh, there's just everything in the way, so. I'm just gonna keep plugging away. I can't really show you guys much. Um, yeah, I don't really think you care that much, <laughs> honestly, unless you have a truck. In that case, um, yeah, I mean, once you get the grill off, it's pretty much just you know getting those clips off and, and getting all the little clips that hold it together. Most of them are plastic, they're gonna break, but that's why they make zip ties. Uh, so yeah, um, other than that, I can't really give you any other pointers yet. If I come across a really good pointer that I feel will help you get this job done er easier, if you are doing something like this on your Chevy 2500 or whatever that has a similar setup, I'll of course let you guys know. But until then, I'm just going to crawl back underneath this truck and uh, continue to try to get this stuff undone. I mean, <laughs> really the most exciting thing going on right now is I'm just painting these, these knuckles because to me that's really exciting because that's one less thing I have to worry about. But either way, get back to work on the truck, try to get this, uh, these lines out and go from there. So basically what we're trying to do here is right here is the clip and I have this pick and what you have to do is you have to get underneath this clip and pull it out. And once you get these clips out, the line just pops out. It's kind of a pain because everything's covered in grease and been sitting and rusty. And I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm not sure if you can see, but All right. I may have lost that one, but she out. So once you get the the clip out the line just 
pulls right out. And then that's one less line you need to worry about. So I know that's kind of hard to see and everything like that, but that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm dealing with. But you, you pull back the little plastic cover, you, you get a pick in there, you pull the ring out, and then once the ring's out, you know, um, the line will come out. So I'm going to keep working. I got two more clips to get out for the lines, and then I can try to fish them out and replace them with the new lines, which are sitting right there. If you need these lines, uh, it'll run you about 50 bucks off Rock Auto for all three, or uh, correction, off Amazon for all three. They're all AC Delco lines. Um, I will list the part numbers in the description if you're doing this but yeah um the dealership wanted like 100 bucks for all these and i got them for like 50 bucks on amazon two-day shipping thank you amazon sponsor me free prime come on i spend enough money hook up brother up free prime for life i think i found the leak trying to get the line out of a clip i just moved it just an inch and all of a sudden it just started pewing transmission fluid everywhere so yeah these rusty lines got to go but we getting them done, we changing them. All right guys, so we got coat number two laid down. Finally looking black, less gray. We're getting there, we're getting there. So uh, yeah, I'm excited, they're looking nice. They're just some, you know, old beat up cut knuckles, but that doesn't mean they can't look good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get them shot black and everything like that, still plugging away at the truck. Uh, In-laws came over, so I hung out with them for a little bit, you know, took a little break, so. Get back to work here. Hopefully this uh, broken line is done draining and I can get back in there and try to get this clip out. But uh, other than that, it is what it is. We're just trying to get her done. So yeah, nothing really exciting. I'll update you guys with whatever happens, but getting back to work. All right guys, so just to give you guys an update and everything, I know I'm filthy and everything. It's so annoying working underneath that truck. There's just not a lot of room. I don't have it jacked up or nothing. There's enough to work around, but I'm really, I'm just struggling with one thing. I got everything put back together. So I got, here's the accessory cooler, both new lines and everything. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see them, but new line there, new line there. They're all ran. The problem I'm having is I cannot get one of the lines to go inside the O-ring and clip in. I, I got all the others to lock in, I just am having one, and it is limited access. I can't get enough pressure to push it in. It's really frustrating. It's, uh, it's kind of annoying. I'm losing a little bit of light it's almost seven o'clock so i'm really trying to get this done before the sun goes down but i will show you at least i'm happy about one thing and that is these knuckles so here they are looking good all black oh i missed a little spot right there okay so pretty much looking good i missed a little spot on the one uh, i'll probably just give it a shot real quick or whatever or not i don't know I'm not really that worried about it but they look so much better in black that's gonna bug me, so I'll go ahead and probably give it uh, one more little coat, but yeah, they're pretty much dry, good to go. Okay, so I missed one little spot, so I'll give it a couple sprays right there just to make sure, you know, whatever, but uh, but they look really good in black. Um, once again, shout out to my buddy Neil. I'll, uh, I'll put his Instagram here. If you're looking for knuckles and you're in the Delaware, Columbus, you know, tri you know that type of area, uh, really good guy, really, really fantastic turnaround. You know, he'll help you out um, and everything like that, I'm sure. He's always probably willing to make a buck, um, but he's not going to break the bank to get it done. He can do uh, lower control arms, he can do knuckles, he can do it all. So, yeah. Anyway, shout out to him. Thanks a lot, man. You helped me out. Uh, so, I'm going to go put some paint on that, and I'm going to go back to work. And hopefully here soon, I will have this truck done. Well guys, it's near the end of the night. I pretty much, I got the truck back together. All I need to do is fill it with some fluid, but I don't drive automatics. I really hate automatics, but so I don't have an automatic funnel, like an automatic transmission funnel. You know, the one with the little twisty doodad that you, yeah, either way. So I'm kind of in a rock and a hard place right now is I need to pick up a funnel. Um, but she's all back together, all the lines are in. I'm extremely happy, finally. Uh, that was a pain in the ass and it but it is done it is done that's all that's all I care about enough said either way so yeah if you have to do this I feel sorry for you it really sucks but uh but hey we gotta do what we gotta do you know the tow rig the, the you know I would say the uh, tank because this thing was like you know this thing was it was a trustworthy vehicle it still is but uh, of course some things are gonna happen and some uh, rusty transmission lines basically uh, you know it happens but either way Finally got these finished, put another coat on them. They look great, extremely happy with them. Couldn't be happier. They are what they are, they're just cut knuckles, but 
They're just cutting angles, but they're gonna give me all the angles. So that's gonna close out this video. That's about it. I'm done. I'm gonna pretty much just try to finish, figure this out and finish this up. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Cop a sticker, support the build, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.